Trying to sell it. Oh, Alex McNaught. No training session, but there is a key steal. He popped up to Kamala. He's trying to go. Who's only been with the Giants for two days now. Found out 2.15 on Thursday that he was playing that night. Jordan Hunt shoots a three. Front iron. Or is it oh. rebound from the smallest man on court? Maybe small in height, but certainly not small in effort, stature, or aggression. Or ticker. As Hugh Bennett points to his heart. Oh, look at him driving on a 55-time tall black and earning a way to the line as well. No fear in Alex McNaught. Before saying the first lead for some weeks for the Giants, <laughs> potentially as Alex Talmat can't... ...that he's always known for. Liafa swings out to Mela Jose. He shoots a three from the wing. That's short. Will he get his own rebound? No, it ends up in the hands of Alex McNaught. Bullet pass from McNaught to... ...defensive last. Sato-Jones steps back from coming and Talia goes it out to Tamara. He shoots the number three. Raging game one hasn't found that level of form since then. That's how his two giants run into each other. Yeah. Today, uh, just disrupted by McNaught, who's proved himself an able defender at this level against international players, despite still being a schoolboy. Displaced in this game with Dane Brooks playing for Nelson and Bailey playing for Canterbury. Here is the Stratford High School prop. And Trey can perform the give and go, and Trey can quick with the trigger from beyond the three point arc. And there's McNaughton who has to deal with Ed Rokar, and it's the bear from Ingham and Level. Nice on ball action level with the layup. Tuffin being guarded closely by McNaughton. Here is point guard, Kenny. Drops it into Hunt. I'll punch it and I'll shoot it, says Nick Draper. Look at the hustle by Alex McNaught, harassing Jackson Stubbins, who's known for that defensive effort himself. Find Sam Timmons, who's got... Stubbins hands it off to Dylan Portal. Alex McNaught. Seven-point lead to the front of Bulls as Alex McNaught continues to make Jackson Stubbins' life hard. It's pretty legal to me, or at least not in any kind of distaste. Nothing malicious. It's Alex Menard, his ledger. Finds Johnson, who in turn finds McNaught. He pulls up from the elbow and drains the two-point Alex McNaught. And what, 30 kgs? <laughs> I don't know how, but able to do just enough to keep Webley from the bucket. McNaught takes the contact, pulls up from the baseline. He's Tony Smith Milner. He has 15 now. Here. From three in the second half. Oh, Kalina, beautiful pass to young Alex. He's Inger to McNaught. He's young McNaught. Taking the second one. Can the Giants get themselves back into the 71-63 with nine minutes to go? Here is Ledger. He just loops that back to McNaught with the right-handed flow. Directed by the thought of Barsley, Kenny, Pop Band. Sure. Oh, quick oh, screen from Josh great. Ledger on Barsley. McNaught pulls up for the elbow. Confidence. Like that. Potentially that's Jack Salt replacement. So, you know, that, that gives him an opportunity to step up and he'll take a little bit of time to work this to disperse and the Giants are back underway with seven seconds to go Josh Ledger from the wing defense and positioning by Karina and then Dane Brooks showing the agility on the landing McNaught to and away come the Giants to young Alex McNaught Dane Brooks five points and ten rebounds nine and nine at halftime was going to take long for him to get there nice pass there from McNaught your hand pretty much everywhere McNaught drops it off to level. Moves the handle and resets through McNaught. He drops it off to Gavia. <laughs> I just did. Mike Fitch is in the background. I don't know if you heard that case. He's saying he's going to take that option away and see what the Giants can counter with. Trading a three-pointer who you might meet in the final. 
like the way you put that. Uh, yeah, it's certainly hard. And, it, you know, you're unsure of um, what's going to happen. Kind of goes around the Farris screen. Swings it, but here comes Dick Trayton the other way. He's got this one off to his left. Three balls ahead. A knock back to Trayton. Close to the premier. That has point guard that doesn't count as a point guard. Double he killed and Porto makes him pay for it. We're not chasing back though, and he gets it back. Love his work rate. Alex McGonagall is just a, a tough worker, a tough mindset. Six seconds to go, what and all the balls come away with it. Alex McGonagall, look at that hustle. I love that young fella. With 20 seconds to go, 